flavor. And there's like this really pungent aftertaste and when it breaks down. So welcome to another video where we're going to be comparing these Tesco meat free style burgers. Apparently. Lightly seasoned with mayo, made with soya, onion, garlic, and seasoned for flavour. High in protein. 100% beef, beef patties that I made yesterday. Nicely seasoned salt, thyme, basil, chilli flakes, Worcester sauce. I can't remember what else I put in it, but a lot more seasoning. So right now we've got these vegan burgers cooking. Apparently they finished cooking, but I, 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 I don't think I'm quite quite happy with that. I'm just giving them, a, just giving them a wee bit longer to cook, I guess, or defrost. I, I don't know how to because because obviously we're not cooking meat. You could probably you just eat them raw, or not even raw because they're not raw. Uh, <laughs> I think to try and save these burgers, I'm actually going to. Pan fried them as well. Right. Smell wise, you can't really smell anything except from the olive oil. Right, so what I've done in order to conduct a fair experiment I've got the the veggie burger here and the second veggie, veggie burger here so you can see and it's just got some burger sauce from Hellman's I'm not sure if this is vegetarian I'm not sure if the rolls are vegetarian and I'm pretty Sure, the cheese isn't vegetarian or vegan, but if you if you may, it was just to find out what a burger experience would be like. Probably not vegetarian. I'm First guessing. attempt. Um, oh, it's that, that's that smell. Taste of well, what feels like the taste of it. Ugh. It's just very. So it's bland, there's no flavour. And there's like this really pungent aftertaste and when it breaks down it's just minging. <laughs> it just break, breaks down to the mush. But I'm gonna get Nicola to try this as well. Just try the whole thing, okay? And okay. let me know what you think of it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's okay. 
initially, but you do get a bit of an aftertaste. So yeah, no, I'm not a big, no, I'm not a Keep big fan. Keep it. It's minging, isn't it? No, it's, I'm not mm -hmm. a fan. It's disgusting. No, not for me. So I'm just showing you what the completed burger looks like. The mine, the broken down version, has got a wee bit of shredded beetroot on it as well. You can see with the burger sauce and you can see with the the toasted off the bun to obviously make sure that the juices don't <laughs> That's a fantastic burger. You get a nice taste from the beetroot, nice sweet taste. Nice with the sauce, but this is cheese and just that juiciness of the burger. Definitely recommend making your own burgers. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.